Hello custom car enthusiasts and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. In this episode we're going to work on the Salem Thunderbolt. So for it we have to change the engine and oil filter, replace timing related parts, <clears throat> the car does not start, general engine control and repair, knocking noises from the engine bay, and loud exhaust. So let's go ahead and grab the car and see what we're looking at here. Well it is a bit rusty. But overall, it's a nice looking car. I like it. So let's move it to bay one, or lifter A as they call it. Let's get it up in the air a little bit. We'll open this hood up. It's from Montenegro, interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and start with our examining tools here. Uh, we'll start with the tires, even though they're not an issue. Yes, we're going to use all our tools every time, just to make sure that we don't miss anything. Alright, tires are good, as was to be expected. I think it will actually give me the uh, parts that I probably need. But you know what? We'll go ahead and test it ourselves. Alright, the carburetor is missing there. Or having an issue, I should say. The alternator is bad as well. Alright, piston rings, piston with con rods. So we've got some piston work that definitely needs to be done. So we're going to have to pull this engine entirely out it seems like all right this one doesn't have an obd port so we're done with that let's go ahead and raise it up because i want to take a look at that exhaust and we can see the parts of the exhaust that are already a problem here all right so particularly this piece of exhaust Let's go ahead and replace that first and foremost. It's just called a middle muffler. Nice easy fix here. Boom, that's taken care of. And I'm guessing that's going to take care of our first issue here. Yep, already got that done. We still have parts to discover, which is not surprising at all. I'm going to pull the car out here. Uh, or pull the engine out, I should say. And we'll get to work on it from there. So, first thing I need is to remove the drive shaft. Starter off, pull the gearbox, I think I should be able to then pull the engine. So let's go ahead and go get the crane while it's lowering down and see what we got going on here. Crane duo from the engine. Alright, so we do have to do one more thing still, my mistake. Squeeze around these pieces here. Alright, let's move this over to the car lifter. And let's go ahead and use it. There we go. Might just be me reading into things a bit, but that oil looked almost chunky. Not exactly what you want to see, I would say, in a car. <clears throat> Alright, now let's go ahead and pull the engine out. We can move this back. 
to where it goes. Let's go ahead and place the engine. There we go. Wow. All right, so this does look like it is a mess. Let's go ahead and get the oil pan off here. Let's go ahead and rotate the engine then, because I will need to deal with the pistons, but I want to get to the uh, top of the block here first. Radiator fan shot, it looks like two. Let's get the belt off. Get all this off because we know this is coming off. That's the bad carburetor, but we're going to have to take off the good carburetor as well because we have to get down into the guts of the engine to get to those pistons. Let's get the ignition wires off. got rocker arms that need to come off definitely so basically I'm just stripping everything down here because who knows what's gonna need to be replaced and what isn't we'll take everything apart and then we can put it back together as need be let's get the rocker arms off then we can get the tie rods see that at least one of the tie rods has gone bad or a push rod excuse me Same thing here. Pretty much is doing a total engine rebuild on this car. So it probably will be longer than one episode here, just because of the amount of work to take it apart and then we'll have to put it back together. But so far it's been an enjoyable engine to work on. I do sort of like these classic motors here. Where there's more pieces to it, but it's just good old steel versus computers and such. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy technology, but when it comes to cars, there's something to be said for the old-fashioned muscle. Definitely am not one that is bought into the uh, electric car craze yet. Still like my classic B 
big engines, much better. Alright. So now let's take off the crankshaft pulley. And now let's rotate the engine over. That's good that way. That way we can see both the top and the bottom at the same time. to get all the pistons out. Then, as I have been doing, I will go ahead in between episodes and see what needs to be uh, replaced by the replacement parts. So that way, next episode, we can just build it back up good as new. Didn't seem to have any problems with the gearbox, but again, if we're going this far down, might as well take it apart to ensure that we aren't going to have any surprises. Alright, so we have completely taken the engine apart. I'm going to sort it by condition here real fast, just so we can see all the parts that we need to replace. Quite a few of them here. Um, but we will get through that. As I said, I will buy those in between this episode and the next one. And then we'll jump back into the reassembly of this car in the next episode. Let's check just to make sure there's nothing else that needs to be done here. So oil, yeah, we're going to change the oil filter definitely. And we definitely need to change the oil since we removed the engine. Uh, cam gear, timing chain, water pump, water pump pulley, spark plug, only one spark plug. Uh, rocker arm, ignition wires, valve push rods, power steering pump, valve push rods, piston with con rod, piston rings, rocker arm. Yeah, so we'll replace all those. Exhaust manifold, carburetor, alternator, rocker arm. And we took care of the loud exhaust array. So we've spent $110, and we've got a payout of 143 so far. I sort of find it funny. It would almost be hysterical to just give them their engine back in pieces here and be like, here you go. We took care of it for you. <laughs> Once you assemble it again, it'll run fine. <laughs> but obviously, we won't be doing that. We'll go ahead and rebuild their engine for them in the next episode. If you like this disassembly, though, in this episode, please go ahead and click that like button. If you've not already, please subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon so that you're aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, and I hope to see you again for more Car Mechanic Simulator 2018.